Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I will actually be fixing one of the issue that still persists, uh, and I think it's because of the avoidance that I added in the last lecture. So uh, let me show you. So if I play, and you could see like the <coughs> player actually like moves in a different location from where he actually should like over there as well so there's the distance that does not actually match up correctly even now so i think that's still because of the avoidance and if it's not then i'll create a eqs system for a better uh <coughs> location uh to be found near the enemy and teleport there yeah also, let me fix the uh, nodes over here. I think I made a mistake in the last lecture over here. So, just fix this, okay? As I'm doing now. Okay, now this is better. Okay, and also, yeah, to fix that, uh, we need to actually like call the uh, disable the uh, avoidance as well while moving to the location, right? So, Let's go ahead and create a function stop movement and avoidance. Mm, this one is stop, and we'll get the owner, and from him, we'll get the component by class, and this one will be the movement component, okay? and doing a is valid check and once that is done we can go ahead and stop avoid not stop sorry it is enable avoidance i guess yeah okay and i will get the stop now this stop and this stop are the same so i'll get the not boolean like that and then i will also stop no set movement mode to be now again this one will be select again i'll have it from the stop itself so if it is stop then none and if it is false then we'll set back to working okay yeah there we go and yeah so over here we'll go ahead and stop and this one should be set to false now let's go ahead and check yeah as you can see that was perfect did not stop in any weird place now let's add yeah seems fine doesn't seem to cause issue so yeah it seems it's fixed um, if it doesn't and if you find any bugs related to this let me know in the comments okay I'll uh, do it with EQS uh, that would be much more stable as well so yeah now let's go ahead to the next part uh, so I'm also going to actually like change all the structures and enums to c plus plus okay so for that uh, let's go to our source we have the asset i will delete the cpp for the data we just need the dot h for the enums and structures okay okay i don't need the class 
just this commented out and let's create the enum first u enum blueprint type uh, enum underscore and always remember enums if you're writing in c plus plus they start with an e okay don't forget this e otherwise it will throw an error okay i'll call this attack hit direction if i just name it hit direction i'll be confused with which one is which okay also i'll make this u n eight and for enums let's go ahead first one would be forward emitter display name now for uh, display name is optional but i prefer to have it written like this uh, it's a force of habit okay uh, let me just uh, finish off the rest of the enums okay and then you can just pause and copy paste it so that's and the last one does not require a comma okay so that's our enum and then we'll have our structures and see uh, structure starts with an f like enum starts with an e okay so don't forget the f and this one will be player attack and in data and structures have a generated body and by default it is a public okay public section uh i'll use the property macro now this is used for the unreal's reflection system to uh, allow the c++ to connect with the blueprints okay and also be garbage collected okay so i'll use the edit anywhere and blueprint read write accessor so i can actually like uh, access it from blueprints as well uh, and edit the structure so first is uh you any montage uh, object reference so a raw pointer and i'll name it attack montage then i'll copy this u property remember u property macros do not end with a semicolon okay then we have float player it i guess and finally i think we had uh, offset right and then i will define the default values for these and play rate is 1f and offset is 100 by default i think that is enough i'll run also close this one save selected all right uh, again same as enum make sure it's blueprint type uh, so you can access it from blueprints as well right my bad okay now once that is done I will actually check these this is attack 001 all of them 1.580 now which one is this am mid attack all 1 and 100 and the last one is jump attack okay 1 and 100 so all of them are 1 and 100 except the first one okay so data first let's get rid of the structures defense viewer i'm using it in group character blueprint pv player and the ac ffc so yeah these so named it player and in player attack anim data change variable type change variable type the return type as well it's done 
and I think that's done over here to get a random array item of the new one break it from here so okay get the montage and the play rate and the offset okay compile now let's go to the reference viewer again and yeah there's none so i can go ahead and delete this post delete and hit direction reference viewer also yeah let's get the animations first properly attack attack 2 and attack 3 now all of these were 0.5 and 80 Now mid is mid attack one, mid attack two, and mid attack three. All of them were fine. And then there's the air attack or jump attack. Jump, jump attack one and jump attack two. Distance, yeah, that's fine. So there we go, and for the get mod large based on distance. Uh, sorry, in the uh, enemy compound, right? From the reference viewer on the enemy compound, and in hit enemy. Yeah, basically these. direction okay so um, attack hit direction 45 to 45 that is forward now this last one is backward 45 to 135 now that is right yeah and this one this one was backward this one was left because 135 to 180 yeah that is backward okay yeah seems fine and obviously this one over here as well so left uh, Forward, backward, left, and right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check this one again on the reference viewer. Rose to SA. Get hit direction, that's changed, and this one is hasn't changed. Okay, okay, this one's fixed as well. Now let's go ahead and reference viewer enemy component, browse to SF. That's why. Why doesn't it change? So now this one he attack. Okay, yeah, it has changed. So it forward, backward, left, and right. Okay. Now let's check again. Reference viewer. Yeah, there you go. Like nothing is referencing it 
anymore right click fix up redirectors done data delete course delete don't need the data anymore actually I'll leave it for now uh, if we need for something else in the future let's go ahead and play yeah now that's also a thing um, I'll move it over here let's see make sure yeah directions working fine yeah directions working fine so that's good as well okay guys so that's all uh, for this lecture guys and i will continue the ai uh, director in the next lecture okay and as always uh, if you want to support me and the work that i'm doing you can um, subscribe to my patreon uh, it starts from just one dollar a month okay and also there are different uh, tiers based on the needs uh, of different people okay so uh, do check it out once thank you